Hi everyone, the channel Knowledge Academy welcomes you. In this video, we are going to discuss about adaptive delta modulation, which is one of the methods of wave, wave coding technique. So in this series, already we have discussed about the other wave coding techniques like uh, differential pulse code modulation and delta modulation. Before going for further discussion about adaptive delta modulation, kindly subscribe my channel Knowledge Academy. Now let us enter into the video. So here, while discussing delta modulation, we uh, we concluded that there are certain disadvantages due to delta modulation, like uh, slope overload distortion and granular noise. These disadvantages occur since the type of quantizer we use in delta modulation is uniform. Okay, the step size do not vary, do not adapt itself with the, uh, with respect to the changes in the input signal. Due to that those uh, distortion and those noises occur whereas those disadvantages can be overcome by using this adaptive delta modulation which uses an intelligent technique to adjust the step size of the quantizer with respect to the input signal okay so that is the only difference between adaptive delta modulation and delta modulation and remaining things are similar to that of the techniques of delta modulation what did we do in delta modulation we we sample the signal at a rate very very greater than sampling rate very very greater than nyca state okay very very greater than nyca state and we use one bit quantizer so these are the things that we do in delta modulation with respect to pulse code modulation okay and uh, in the feedback path we have a delay a delay block okay the same things are present in adaptive delta modulation whereas the only difference is there is a presence of logic for step size control okay it is an intelligent block okay this block helps the adaptive delta modulation transmitter to adjust the quantizing step size with respect to the input signal okay if the input signal is very steep okay if the input signal is very steep the step size is increased the rising portion of the step size is increased okay if the input signal the variation in the input signal is not so not so much okay i mean if the input signal is very stable then the step size is greatly reduced in this manner the slope overload distortion and granular noise is reduced okay so this is regarding adaptive delta modulation right and this is the transmitter the things are uh, similar to that of delta modulation here we are having an input signal uh, the input signal here uh, the output signal coming from the delay block is subtracted from the input signal and that error is sent to the one bit quantizer then uh, the output of one bit quantizer is added with the output of delay block and then it is given as the input to delay block okay then uh, the output of a quantizer given quantizer is given to logic for step size control which helps the quantizer to adjust the step size with respect to the input signal okay so this is regarding adaptive delta modulation transmitter and in the receiver uh, the the transmitted signal is here the transmitter the output of transmitted signal becomes the input to the uh, adaptive delta modulation receiver and uh, there is a feed forward path which has a logic for step size control block and the output of logic for step size control is multiplied with the input signal and then it is added with the the output of uh, delay block which is present in the feed feedback uh, feedback path and then the output is passed through the low pass filter uh, which reduces the harmonics present in higher frequency signal and uh, the output gives the actual signal okay actual input signal so this is how the receiver works so this is regarding adaptive delta modulation and i hope you uh, understand the difference between uh, delta modulation adapted delta modulation and of course the techniques followed in differential pulse code modulation also so i repeat in differential pulse code modulation in order to avoid in the redundance bits what do we do we uh, predict the next sample and the predicted error is calculated and that is context instead of quantizing the original signal the predicted error is context so in this manner differential pulse code modulation works okay so this is how the wave coding techniques work so these are the modified form of pulse code modulation techniques mm, so i hope i uh, understand and uh, you may like this video kindly comment uh, like and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel knowledge academy meet you again in the next video bye